I want to introduce to you one of my very favorite ways to assess kids. This is a wonderful activity to use at the end of a unit, at the end of a theme that you're working on. Um, I have used it with third graders on up. It's not quite appropriate for your little ones, but boy, your older kids, third grade on up, they absolutely love it. And we've used it with high school, high school kids as well. Um, I call it stock market. It's something that I developed a long time ago and have found it to be one of the most fun things to do in the classroom while you're getting information about how prepared your students are for the end of unit test or theme. Let's take a look at stock market. Have ready some Monopoly money or other play money in the denominations of $5, $10, $20, $50, $50 and $100. Give each group in your classroom, and they can be groups of four or five, $25. Before you play stock market with your students, you're going to generate some content questions, and I love to use questions that are going to be on the exam so that you can ask some of those really tricky questions and see whether you need to go back and reteach if the students don't know the answers. Um, and then also include trivia questions. When you're playing stock market, your students won't know whether the next question is content or whether it's trivia. So have good collection of both. On stock market day, group your students heterogeneously and give one worksheet with two columns to each group. The first column is for the dollar investments that the students are going to make. The second column is for the students to write their answers to the questions that you're going to pose. Now what's really fun here is that the students don't know what question they're going to be asked. So they have to invest first in the stock market, then you ask their questions. So if they know the answer to the question, then they are going to make their investment. Of course, if they don't know the answer, then the bank takes the money. One thing that I always tell students is that they're not allowed to invest more than half of what they have. Now here are some examples of some stock market questions. So I'm going to have the students put their investments down first, and then I would ask the first question. What is the meaning of the Greek word part, tele? And of course, it means at a distance or far off. So all the groups who answer correctly, then you take them the, the money that they had written down on their investment. If they get, got it incorrect, then you pick up the money that they had. How many planets are there in our solar system? Well, there are eight without Pluto. Remember, a few years ago, there were nine. Who is the author of the Harry Potter series? And now I throw in uh, one of the trivia questions, J.K. Rowling. Is the Earth an inner planet or an outer planet? And then what is our principal's first and last name? And I'll throw in a $25 bonus if you could spell both names correctly. So you can see you interspersed a trivia with the actual questions. And for the very last question, I let students do like they do on Jeopardy. They can go all or nothing, either invest everything that they have, or they can just invest part of what they have. And it's really fun to see who ends up with the most money by the end of the game.